Hello, this is Jürgen Gerstner from Vinji. If the vision of semantic web would become a reality, then a casual user needs to be able to construct semantic search queries as easy as it is to type the search string in current web search engine portals. DBpedia allows us to submit advanced structured semantic queries against the information in Wikipedia and to get answers to quite complex questions about the world. I certainly do agree with what DBpedia says about itself. It has the potential to revolutionize the access to this valuable knowledge source Wikipedia is providing today to millions of people. Let's look at the example. Find all soccer players who played as goalkeeper for a club that has a stadium with more than 40,000 seats and who are born in a country with more than 10 million inhabitants. As a Google user, all you need is an empty text field you type in your keywords. As a user of DBpedia or any other linked data portal, you most often also face an empty text field. If you get, go back to the soccer player query, I suggest everyone to try how long time would it take, or if you manage at all, to write this query which actually returns valid results. I'm quite certain that just to get started, to explore what classes and properties are available, which ones contain the information relevant to this query, will take significant time from you, unless you are not the creator of this ontology, but haven't worked in DBpedia project. Well, I am not, but I am still interested to get to know this about football goalkeepers, and let's see if and how fast will I manage to pull out this list. I start by searching for what we know, for example, the concept soccer player, or for instances of things I know should exist, for example, the German goalkeeper Harald Schumacher, I search and I get a hit. And this is how I get into the link data browser, and I start browsing here. And I find the attribute called position, which has a value goalkeeper, so probably this one gives information about the goalkeeper, striker, or defender. And I'm looking for the birthplace, and here we have the Duran, the, the, the town, and the West Germany. But West Germany is not a country that exists today, so, um, but the Duran probably is. So I click on here, and I navigate further to the country. Now I look for the attribute that holds the population of this country, and I find population estimate. And now we can set our first filter, and that was 10 million, and we remove this bad value for the maximum, and to set the filter. And now we can check how many countries, how many Football players do we have? And we can look at some samples. Going back to Harald Schumacher, the soccer player, we find the relations to clubs and click one. And we also see the capacity attribute and we pick this. And here we can add our second filter. And we want to have at least 40,000 seats in the stadium. We run it again, and now we see just 23,000 soccer players, and we can look at the example results, and we see we have all this information we have picked in our list. If we look at the position, we see we have all kinds of uh, roles and some goalkeepers. So if we go back, and to the position and try to look what kind of values do we have we can see there are plenty and for the goalkeepers it's a lot of different variations of how because this is a string so probably we just have to go and pick one by one and we add this filter 
and they see how the filter look like. We have just over 2,000, and if we check the result samples, so we see that the positions are only code keepers. So what actually has happened? While we linked in the data and traversed in a linked data browser, we have discovered the data model. We have discovered the relations of soccer players are connected to the birth countries and soccer clubs. And we have actually efficiently generated the Sparkle query without writing absolutely nothing. So if we run this, we get a list with all 2,141. So what can we do with this list? Okay, we can click and go to the details and we can go to official DBpedia and we can even navigate to the Wikipedia. But isn't it so that the real value of structured search is to quantify your results and analyze something? So what about to try to visualize and see and analyze how many goalkeepers, for example, are also scoring goals? So for this, let's just get back to our navigation map uh, to soccer player. And let's find that that is actually as a property attribute goals. And we just add this. And we see that Hara somehow hasn't scored any goals. So if we get back to our um, query explorer and we generate a new query from navigation map and just select those attributes we want to analyze country, position, goal. Uh, we are leaving out the capacity and clubs because there are multiple entries which generate multiple rows in the result table as well and the goals are reported um, as a multiple values per clubs. And we select an output actually using a spot fire for example as our analysis tool. We can load this into this tool and we can set the filter of goals to at least one and we have 109 goalies which have scored something. And we can go to the chart and we can select goals and we say sum and we want to see by countries and we want to slice by soccer players. So what do we see here? We see that one guy sticks out and that's a Hansjörg Butt from Germany who has scored 42 times, and there is also somebody from Peru, and there are the Colombia, uh, the famous Rene Higuita, and uh, my hunch is that those goalies took penalty kicks. Now, notice that we set the filter here, we filter the goal to be at least one. So from here, we can get this filter back to our original Sparkle query and start working an end on the result set. And this is how we are working iteratively, uh, providing a best fit for analysis. So we can conclude this demo now and I've shown that in a couple of minutes, with a couple of clicks, without writing any Sparkle code, I have answered this pretty complex question and I've done more. I've analyzed the data and the uh, goalkeeper's habits to score or not to score. Thanks for watching and listening. If you want to learn more about what we do, please check out us at vincifree.com.